Hello everyone, this is VT Archer coming to you from the wonderful world of StarCraft 2. Here we have a knight to die on hard mode. I know it's only hard mode, but it is with a very good friend of mine named Freedom. The gentleman taught me good basic defenses in multiplayer and single player games, which allowed me to be number one last se or season four last in both single player and threesome, 3v3. Second and third and 2v2 and 4v4 respectively. So I thought, since I, we got a chance to hook up and left left to die, I'd put this one video out. Starts out as any normal game. We gotta run. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> gotta run. I'm not gonna. I want to put it. I gotta put it on somebody's uh, mood. Our so we know the time of day it is. But we can take it off. Spreading through the refugee that. camps. It's a Zerg virus. Bring it right back to the camp. Once All we get we back there. Every one of those infested buildings has to be destroyed. We're not getting ready to do anything yet till we escape. It looks like they burrow underground by day and emerge only at night. The virus must make them vulnerable. It's his first time playing a hard mode. And he's being a normal all by himself, but he doesn't realize that behind the, behind the mineral lines in the hard mode, they'll attack you, and normally they won't. Normal and casual, they won't. Hard, brutal, and uh, night to die, they do. Here I am setting up my normal defense. All right, boys. We can't risk the He's going to set up something very similar. I want a perimeter set and some bunkers He watched my uh, defense for brutal setup before. Here, I'm going to come down here. I'm going to take out these same way I always do. For now, he's just going to be content staying in the barracks, staying in the base, building, building, building. Can't believe how many Marines this guy pumps out. Together, it equals great I watched the video once. On the and the guy's incredible about how fast he gets units going. to my stumble fingers. Anyway, I set it up just like I'm supposed to. So they kill these other things and get back. Boom. Uh oh, that was an accident. That guy couldn't reach the other one, so he shot that one. And I lost to a Marine. And he didn't take the building out. Hang gum it. You bad boy. I gotta realize that happened. So I didn't realize that. I'm not even looking at that. I just set it up to come back and Get my medics going. Probably didn't even realize it. Man short. Man down, man down. He's got the same defense that I showed in my video. All set up, ready to go. Look, he's already got Marines to put in it. He's got his tech reactor on, ready for medics. I got this on. He's already got another barracks. That's how quick he is. Unit count, he's up to 12. SCBs are ready. He's got eight Marines and a... Vulture. I guess he said Vulture again. Wow. Congratulate me. I'm filling my bunkers. These bunkers are already full. That's how quick he is. My word. Forgot my other medic. She was lagging back. The women are always lagging back. Don't tell them I said that. Now I'm getting the uh, borders set up with vultures. He hangs back a little bit. There's a hunter thing out there. Uh, it's 33 minutes. I don't know if I'll do the whole video on regular speed. I just like watching the other guy. I should watch him. Let's put it on Freedom's View. Watch his quickness. He's checking out what's going on in my base. A good partner does that. Every once in a while, I'll just glance over there. If they're having issues, you might be able to help them. I do it. Getting his vulture fixed. Keeping his SCV production going. He's way ahead of me in that. 15 and 12. Wow. And I thought I was pretty good at it. I usually wind up with 35 to 40 SCVs. The reason I choose how many SCVs is I. When I watch replays, I watch this income line. Okay? You get that income line up to 600, and you've got enough of SUVs. Uh, you made enough SUVs to keep your buildings going. The rest of the SUVs are made for uh, just fixing things. And that's key to, to harder games, brutal and night to die, is fixing the buildings. 
I actually put my SUVs on patrolling all over the place. All the extra SUVs you get from the science facility, from picking up things like the uh, uh, racks, I mean the uh, expanded bunker, uh, the, the turret. We gotta hold on a These four down at the bottom all add SUVs to you. This one here is as many as four. And I use them as patrol units later on. I actually put them on a hot bar, hot key, so I can bring them to where I want them to go. In some cases. Especially brutal and uh, night to die because you gotta launch them over with them. Skanks come in so they can build the build, uh, work on the buildings. See now we're we're both at 500 plus, and heading out. Can blow up his first thing. You know I neglected to tell him beforehand, and this is my bad. Vultures outrange these things. So you see what I'm doing is I'm taking my vultures down to take just that bearing building out. It outranges them. The vultures aren't going to get hurt. Although I've got SUVs going with them in case they do get hurt. Then I'll send the vultures up here. You'll see once I get my Marines on patrol here. And that's what I do with the Marines ball is I put them on patrol from this point down through. They'll kill everything. And then I send the vultures up just to take these out. Because they outrange them. Nobody's going to get hurt. You don't have to lose a marine taking them down. I'll shoot him and I pinch him off to get the other view of these other two. Oh, I got the view of one. Then I let him come down here. Take this one out. Get the view of it first. I almost lied. I did lose one, dummy. Got it too close. All right. This sector is clear. Nice work, boys. But I'll, now, once it's on fixed, I'm going to turn around and hit those two. I just sent these marines to patrol in here. Now I'll send my vultures to take these two out. I might patrol this one, I don't remember. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So I'll take this one out, this one out, and then this one. Get the biomass from those. And they die the biomass. Okay, I am. I'm going to put it on patrol, and then I'm going to take this and this one, and that one out, and then I'll head back home with them. I don't know how Freedom does his. Looks like he's uh, stemming. He's already got stem. I don't get. St I get stem a little later. In the middle of this process, I get it. I don't know if he's starting and stopping him or, or patrolling or not. I'll have to ask him whether he does patrol or not. Looks like he's patrolling. He's heading back. This is going to be done. I'm sending my group of nine back after they get this building done. They're going to come take this out. Upgrade complete. And then head back. Bye-bye. Sure the Marines are going back. Number nine. Group nine is going back. You should set some guards. Just barely They'll ahead of the bad guys. Soon. And then we're going to... I'm already got a... I don't normally put a PF up on a hard mode. I usually do it only in brutal. I usually put just two barracks up. But I wanted to leave I wanted to put something up there strong to give him an idea that you gotta defend the base and he can put something over here if he wants to. Seriously. You sure like stirring up a hornet's nest. Right now he's at six hundred, I'm at four eighty. I'm I've only got twenty one. I'm still building them though. Behind the mineral lines, on hard mode I get two turrets and a bunker, but on brutal I put three turrets up. This guy here is stuck, he should have went back to the thing, but he didn't go. Now this night also I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set this up, I'm going to put four turrets up here in a bunker. Then I usually put three bunkers along here on hard mode. But I don't remember whether I put a PF up or not. This basic setup will last the whole game for them. Here comes the first spotter. Kill the spotter, because these guys can see up above. Boom. Now 
Now, as you can see, I've got stem gone. I haven't even started stem, dang it. So I'm, so I'm lacking here, I'm slacker. I'm a slacker. But I gotta tell him about the... Oh, he did do the medic update. Oh, I didn't think he did. There's a hunterling out there. Get that spotter. Come down the bank, make it come over the thing, and go right back up underneath it. And it's dead. Just, just like I do. Just like I did in my video. I put a bunker there. Research complete. I still haven't built enough STVs in this game yet. But they're still building. Eventually. I got my planetary fortress up. So he needs a... Uh, he needs that... Dang it. He needs a turret back there. But he comes back with some marines and takes that out. Goliath will help out. I told I told him I got the spotters, uh, the Goliath for spotters. Put him up on a hill over here. There's a hunter league Lately I've been putting him up over here to protect the uh, SCVs when they put the turrets up. Day two. Let's burn this place before they come creeping again. I group up my uh, vultures again. Gangway, coming through. Take out my marines with them. Make a bigger ball. Goof it up. <coughs> Forgot the medics. Dipstick. He heads out. He's got a big ball. Now, like I say, this thing here, I usually come out in here with the vultures around and then take it out and then take this big building, big, big bio building out. We had no problem with it, though. Coming up, finishing this area. Trading, I can trade now. Upgrade. I don't know why they went there. Dip sticky me. They went back. Must have accidentally misclicked the turret location. That medic's gonna get her butt kicked, dummy. Yeah, I accidentally made patrol over there. I must have did it from uh, back of the barracks on the mini map. Looks like that sector's clear, Jim. Better move on to the next yet. one. But it's working. Good job, guys. This area is secure. So you get that one cleaned out. You get that all cleaned up. This area is secure. Keep it up, fellas. We can stop this. Nope, he didn't miss bio. I'm going through this area now. Always got a stray marine. Poor little guy out there in the middle of no man's land. Don't get out of there before it's dark. Come on, get out of there before it's dark. I'm not detecting any more infested structures in that sector, Jim. He's got another clean zone, and this one might get cleaned up. Now that STEM is researched, I should be stemming any second now. T minus four, three, two, one. Oh, I guess I didn't stem yet. Nightfall in 30 seconds. Yeah, that area is cleaned out. Their numbers, Jim. He's got this They're one pretty much great. done too. He's stutter stepping. Heading back though. Heading back. I think this is the game I noticed. Yeah, I think this is the game that I replayed and saw this 600 figure. And mine was 400. Work any minute now. So I looked at what he was Better doing and how many place. SUVs he had, and that's when I changed my thing over to make more SCVs on the mineral lines early in the game. See, even from uh That's an excellent uh, choice, sir. I'm even learning I'm still learning from from freedom. It's it's amazing. <laughs> he asked well he saw my video on my uh, defense and said asked if I could play someday with him and I said I would. Oh don't tell me I lose those tanks because I'm stupid. I know I'm not watching that right now. What am I watching? I am watching that. Was I watching that at the time? I set him up because I'm going with a PF. This is a fun game. There it is, it's all set up. I didn't send the SCVs back yet, and I didn't fill this bunker yet. 
You got a planetary fortress up already. So we're well defended. We'll have an issue with that. Tremor. Seismic disturbance detected. Nidus one inbound. I think I told him it dies on day. It's gotta defend what comes into it. Don't remember. Yeah, Nidus dies during day, so I don't worry about going out and killing it. I worry about killing what comes out of it, but that's about it. Got a tank over there. What is that thing? And it's Was it human? Just to blow everything up. Still haven't got this filled That's up. An excellent choice, sir. Now I got more to make to fill it up. Dang gummit. He holds this defense the whole time. He loves the Marines. Look at that. Woohoo! And look at that. 620 he's getting. I'm 320. 25, 34. It's a big difference. It's a big difference. How many SUVs you got on the pile? Daylight coming. Daylight coming. Upgrade complete. Oh, that's why I wanted to plant it in a fortress, because we're gonna try to get him a skank uh, achievement. Don't forget, you have to be back by dark. He's got 96 marines already. Woohoo, I only got 48. I'm making this tank brigade to go over and get the skank before it can do any harm. I'm going to come down and take these barracks out now. I told him to beef up tanks. He asked me how. <laughs> he knew how. He just didn't know what I meant by it. I thought that was interesting. <laughs> he knows how to beef up a tank. Crying out loud. I'm willing to bet he went, oh duh, when I <laughs> I told him armory. I'm willing to bet, oh duh, I bet he don't. I thought he meant, he probably thought I meant there was something in the science facility to upgrade him, but I don't know. I just want to beef up the tanks for Skank. He tries to get this second command center up. He didn't realize right. that you really don't this need it. I mean, nice work, boy. I see a lot of people go out and get a second command center, but to me, it doesn't make sense to even try in this game. Right now, he's got 846 minerals. 1167 uh, <coughs> uh, gas, okay? And he's got this piles going out. He's still garnering 500 right now because one of these piles went away. But look, there's 6,333 there's 6, 6,330 minerals left in that one. 4,300 4, and that one. 2,600 in that one, 1,600 in that one, and 730 in that one. And once you use up all your science facility stuff, you get rid of them, every major enemy gives you minerals when you kill it. You're trying to protect this thing way out here is going to cost way more than you get out of it. But he didn't realize that. Peanut, I think he knows now. Because we talked about it. But uh, on with the game. On with the game. I'm yakking too much. Now move on to the next area. Now we got a great defense set up. I still haven't got that bunker filled up. I'm getting so mad that I didn't fill that bunker up yet. I don't know okay. where are they going. Complete. Where am I? Where am I sending them? Oh, I'm filling this bunker up behind the lines. Now stem's working, and I'm on patrol. That's how I do it. I patrol them. I make them. They're gonna patrol this whole area. That marine is still alive. <laughs> you one lucky marine. You one kill marine. You're luckier than a son of a gun. He likes that stutter step. Works well for him. When you got it, the kind of APM this guy's got. 
56 average. Ooh. I wish I could do that. So 30 seconds left. There's time to come back. I'm going to try to clean this mess up. But I gave up on it and went back. Those stabbers, I hate those. But they gotta be killed, just like everything else in the game. Now, we better get back to the base. Now I got my, uh, I got five of these on a hotkey. Actually, more of them, but I got five of them on a hotkey to take out the uh, stank, which is coming in. Now he gets the uh, stank achievement, but. That's what happens when you put a second base out and you try to keep it going. You're going to try to get a turret up. A couple turrets to take out the spotter, but... Stank comes in. He comes in there. They also load a stank up here once in a while. And the stank says, You ain't going to do nothing out here, my friend. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Papa, Papa. I know I hate this tank, but you gotta love this tank. I mean, this guy here is a torture machine. Nine kills, boom, 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 boom. He's got that headbutt time thing down here. And he gets this big ass headbutt going on, and it really does some damage to buildings. When you're watching it, trying to key kill it before it kills something, you're seeing your building going down every time the headbutt comes up. And you know it's coming in seconds, and then sometimes it dies. Well, there it goes. So much for the second base. But now the problem is the skank's coming in with a bunch of marines, infested marines. Well, usually the marines would be dead before the, or the skank shows up before the marine shows up. <coughs> but now they're coming in together because this can cause some serious issues. Well, we got lucky enough that that bunker didn't die. through the south barricade. Get some troops down there now. And I get my tanks out of his way you know, so he can fix I it. I think I saw this in a movie once. So now we know the first tank came from here, so I know for sure the second skanks come from here, depending on where it starts. Or does it come to the low end? Yes, it comes to the low end. I remember because he comes out and loses a marine to it. I think we got the skank thing on the third one. Base is under attack. But it's coming pretty soon. Ten seconds. Next one in ten seconds. I, I was a little off on that timing. But because he comes out here with the Marines, our Marine gets killed, so we don't get it. But I do get my tanks down here. That Marine dies. Bye-bye, Marine. Wow, he lived. Yeah, I got one kill. That headbutt, because it's a... Okay. The headbutt thing is a splash damage, a lot of it. That's why you like to get your SUVs behind. Link rules is on. Not a guy I play with. Not very often, but. We're going to come down here. We only got this little mess up here. To deal with. I gotta clean this little mess up. Because this guy didn't want to die last time. Of course, he reheals while you're gone. Dang thing. He comes down and he does stutter step. Which is good. Looks like that sector's clear, Jim. Better move on to the next one. Really you know, kills guys. gank before it kills any of that. means it has to attack the approaches first. I want to see. I want to see how quick he is. You're almost done. See this area up here? Just a handful of infested bio signs left. I'll highlight their locations on your map. I'm gonna clean this out, and I'm gonna say, well, we'll get that in the next day. I asked him if he wanted to stank. I was backing away to let a building survive. So we go another day. 
but I don't think he understood what I was talking about. Watch this. Now he's got a minute and one second. And this ball of Marines in that spot way up there. And watch what he does. He sees him, and he sends his guys out after him. Upgrade complete. Stemmed him once. Nightfall in 30 seconds. 30 seconds left. Stems him again. Stutter stepped. Killed that. Took that out. Took that out with five seconds to go. The game was over. Even got the two biomes running around. Did the bird die? Even the bird dies as it leaves the game. <laughs> That's incredible. Get from there to there and destroy three buildings and four creatures in less than a minute. That was incredible. And I never did my dump. I usually do the thing and dump my points. Boom, 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 boom. But, uh, dang, it was a good game. It was fun to play with Freedom. And I'm going to do it again someday. I know it. I know it. <laughs> Richie Archer over and out. Have a good day and a happy new year.